basically the memories today we are discussing the concept memories so the memories are two types one is primary memory this is called the primary memory second one is called secondary memory secondary memory so one is primary memory and the second one is secondary memory so what is memory means it is a storing element we can say that it is a storing element so here the storing element is having primary and a secondary so what is meant by primary memory it means we can say that it is a main memory it is called main memory and the second thing we can say that the main memory is sub classified into ram and rom this is classified as ram and also rom so actually what is this ram and rom today in smartphones we are using so we are seeing the specifications of ram and rom so ram indicates that so random access memory the full name of ram is random access memory this is called a random access memory what is the acronym so it is the full form of rom we can say that read only memory it is called read only memory so again ram can be told as it is a temporary memory what it is it is a temporary memory so whereas rom can be called as permanent memory permanent storage we can say that permanent storage so again the ram is also said that it is called as okay so we can say that it is called as uh, volatile memory what is meant by volatile memory what is this meant volatile means whenever the power is lost the data is erased in the ram whenever the power is lost the data is erased in the ram that we can say so next second this is a non volatile memory non volatile memory so even though power is removed the data is stored in the rom whereas if the power is removed in in ram the data is lost if the power is removed the data is lost next thing here ram classified as classified as so static and dynamic static ram and dynamic ram whereas this rom can be classified as p rom e rom and also e rom and also e rom so p rom means programmable read only memory e rom means electrical programmable read only memory e rom means electrical erasable programmable read only memory there is another memory called the uv rom uv rom ultraviolet programmable read only memory that we can say about the 
program. So here it is having so static and dynamic we will discuss later. Whereas programmable read only memory, electrical programmable read only memory, electrical erasable programmable read only memory, ultraviolet programmable read only memory. Once again remember that memory means it is a storing element. So it is classified into primary and also secondary memory. So primary memory we can say that main memory it is called RAM ROM. So subclassified into RAM and ROM. Whereas RAM is called random access memory, ROM is called read only memory. So this is full form of RAM. This is full form of ROM. Next, it is a temporary memory. It stores the data temporarily. Whereas it stores the data permanently. It stores the data permanently. Next one, it is a volatile memory. So next one, it is a non-volatile memory. So next, this can be classified into static and dynamic RAM. This can be classified into PROM, EPROM, EPROM, UVPROM. So lastly, we can say that there is an important point about the RAM and ROM. Both read and write operations can be performed here. Read and write and read operations can be performed in the RAM. Whereas in the ROM, only read operation is performed. Okay. Only read operation. Only read operation. Whereas here, both the write and the read. So that you have to remember. So both the read and the write operations are taken place in RAM. Whereas in ROM, only read operation. Only read operation. That is the concept about okay, memories in the digital electronics. So we will discuss this in every subject, every scenario. So it 